This video is going to talk about your shifts and your transformations, which you should be familiar with from all your other functions. But you're going to be transforming the exponential and logarithmic function, and they work the exact same way. And remember, just in general, every function can transform like this. Um, f of x is equal to, also known as y, is equal to a times x minus h plus k, where a, a greater than 1 normally stretches, a less than 1, um, a in between 0 and 1 is going to shrink, negative a flips. H, positive H moves the graph left opposite, negative H moves the graph right. K, positive K moves it up, negative K moves it down. So, you have all the rules right here where it says, notice this one, positive K, this moves the graph up. Negative K moves the graph down. Positive H moves it left. Negative H moves it right. H always moves opposite. A in the front, where A is in between 0 and 1, is a shrink. A in the front, where A is greater than 1, is a stretch. A inside, we call that a when A is in between 0 and 1, we call it a compression. And this is a horizontal move. This is horizontal. These are both vertical, by the way. When they're on the outside like that. They're affecting Y's. This affects X. This is an expansion. And it's also horizontal. Negative flip. across the y-axis, this is a flip across x. I'm sorry, flip those around. This is a flip across. This is a flip across the x-axis. This is a flip across the y-axis. So, all we're going to describe the change that occurred to the parent. So look here, this negative 4, you're going to reflect or reflect across. Look where it said it's in the front. So in the front like that, the negative sits in front of this value, not inside the parentheses, it sits in front, not inside. So you're going to flip across x. This value, 10, moves it right. This value, negative 2, moves it down to. Negative four, the four, the value of four, by the way, makes it a vertical stretch because it's greater than one. And again, don't worry about the sign. The sign is flipping, but the value, the number is greater than one, so it's a vertical stretch. Here, this value less than one, greater than zero. This is a vertical shrink. Plus 5 moves the graph left 5. Plus 7 moves it up 7. Here, 9 in the front. That is a vertical stretch. Plus 2 here. Plus 2 moves the graph left 2 because it's on the inside of something. Anytime it's on the inside and it's on the inside of the absolute value bar, it moves it left 2. On the outside, moves it up or down, so this is down 10. 